Hello grade 11 students, welcome back and a new English lesson. Our lesson today is vocabulary and collocations. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to learn a new vocabulary and use them correctly. Learn new collocations related to different jobs. Dear students, please open your student book, page 10, exercise A. Here is what you are going to find on page 10, exercise A. Here is an article. Read the article and match the words or phrases in bold with the meanings. 1 to 11. Then check your answers using a dictionary. As you can find here, the article is entitled Jobs to Go at New Department Store. Dear students, look carefully at the article. You will notice that some words are printed in bold. These words are employees, holding a meeting, salaries, wages, job cuts, employees, staff, unemployed, on benefits, a trainee, get fired, out of work, intern, make ends meet. Dear students, please try to pause the video for some time. Then read the article. Try to understand what the article is about. Also try to guess the meaning of the words in bold. After that, please play the video again and we are going to the exercise to check our answers. Let's go. Dear students, after reading the article and trying to guess the meaning of the words in bold, now it's your turn to check the meaning of the words in bold in your dictionary. You may use your electronic dictionary on your mobile phone or from the internet, or you can use the traditional paper dictionary. Now it's time to check the answers of exercise A, student book page 10. Read the article in exercise A, student book page 10, then match the words in bold with their meanings. Dear students, please, Pause the video for some time, try to find the correct words and write them next to their meanings. After that, play the video again in order to check your answers. Let's go. Now let's check the answers. 1. People who work for a company. Very good. Employees or staff. Number two, money received for work done. Salaries or wages, very good. Having no job, unemployed or out of work. Number four, to give work to. Employee, good. Number five, receiving money from the state. On benefits. Excellent. Number six, to lose one's job, get fired. Very good. Dear students who are still in exercise A, student book page 10, we are matching the words in bold with their meanings. 
as we have just done in the previous slide, pause the video for some time, go through the questions, get your answers ready, then play the video again in order to check your answers. Okay, it's time to check the answers. Number seven, to have enough money to live. Make ends meet, very good. Number eight, arranging and participating in a group discussion. Holding a meeting, very good. Number nine, advanced student or university graduate receiving a practical training. Intern, excellent. Number 10, reduction in the number of workers. Job cuts, great. And the last one, number 11, somebody at a low level in a company learning the skills needed for a job. Employees, excellent. Dear students, have you read this word before, collocations? The question is, what are collocations? Here is the answer. A collocation is a combination of two or more words. It can be a verb plus article plus noun, or it can be an adjective plus noun, which are often used together. In other words, two words together, or more than two words together to make a special meaning. Let's have some examples of collocations. Make the bed, verb make, comes with the noun bed, means to tidy your bed. Do comes with the noun homework, verb do comes with the noun homework, to mean to complete your homework or to finish your homework. Take comes with an article a and then a noun risk to say that a person faces danger or to have an adventure. Give advice means give a verb, advice is a noun, means that the person gives some useful tips. Dear students now, please open your student book, pages 8 and 9. Go through the article and the extracts on this article and try to find examples of collocations, which we have explained in the previous slide. Now open your student book, page number 10, exercise B. Dear students, have you got any collocations? from the article on pages 8 and 9. Let's check some of them. From the extract about Glenn, we can find Glenn earns good money. So verb earn comes with the noun money and makes a collocation. It means that Glenn makes good money. From the extract about Peter, Peter gains access to online sites. Verb gain comes with the noun access and form a collocation, it means that Peter is able to use the online sites. Now let's come to the major task of exercise B. Match the verbs when, earn and gain with the nouns group A, group B and group C in order to form similar collocations. Please take your time. And after you finish, check your answers. Okay, now it's time to check the answers. Verb when goes with group B. When a race, when a match, and when a game. Verb earn goes with group C. Earn money, earn a salary, or earn one's living. And the last verb, gain, goes with group A, gain weight, gain speed, gain access, and gain experience. Now open student book page 10, exercise C. Complete the sentences with the correct collocations. Dear students, please pause the video for some time, get your answers ready, 
then play the video again in order to check your answers so let's go okay now it's time to check the answers number one how does Tim space his space how does Tim earn his living very good number two I am on a diet because I don't want to gain any more weight very good number three I'm surprised he's losing Jack usually wins any game he plays in good number four the car began to gain speed as it went down the hill excellent now let's answer the rest of the questions dear students please go through the questions five to eight pause the video for some time get your answers ready then play the video again in order to check the answers let's go okay now it's time to check the answers number five how much money do you earn in your new job good the next one you need a password to gain access to this site excellent number seven Salah often wins the bike race but I think Hamad has a chance this year good number eight and the last one he's a lot happier now because he likes his new job and earns a good salary too fantastic now we have come to the questions are you ready for the questions okay let's go okay now think of the meanings of these words here you are going to find all the words which we had studied during the lesson here they are so it is a good chance for you in order to revise all the words which we had so I want you to get a piece of paper ready in front of you and pause the video write down the meanings that come to your mind then play the video again in order to check the answers if you want to check the answers here they are let's move to more words You need to get the meanings of these words as well okay as we did before pause write down a piece of paper after that play the video in order to check the answers okay I want you also to revise the following collocations because collocations are very important in this lesson at the end of our lesson thank you very much for watching till we meet again i wish you all the best thank you and goodbye